child, I remember going to the lake or the pond that was uh, just kind of behind my neighborhood and spending time on the banks of that water, just picking up rocks and seeing how many skips I can get of them or, or finding the biggest rock I could, throwing it into the water and just watching the ripples go. And I'll be honest, you truth be told, I still like to do that today. It's a lot of fun and relaxing to see those ripples across the water or to see if I can get more skips this time than I did last time. Uh, that visual or object lesson we even referred to in the sermon just yesterday. We're in the middle of a series called Resounding Hope where we're walking through the book of First Peter realizing that we have strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. One of the things that we looked at though was this idea of role models realizing that our behavior today should demonstrate and set an example for others to follow. I encourage you to think and reflect on that this week, to evaluate um, your life and your conduct. Is it truly a life that others should follow? Maybe it's an opportunity this week for you to step back and to consider the eyes that are watching you. It may be your children, it could be a next door neighbor, someone in your family or a friend who is looking at your life and trying to follow the example that you have set for them. The Apostle Paul reminded us in 1 Corinthians 11, 1, he said, hey, come and follow me, follow my example, but just know that I am following the example of Christ. And when we build off of this idea of resounding hope, that truly is the picture of what it should look like. The ripple effect of our life being multiplied in others is ultimately a resounding echo of the hope that points back to the person of Christ in our life. And I encourage you today and throughout this week to pursue Christ first and then allow your behavior and conduct to demonstrate love to other people so that that child who lives with you, that spouse, that neighbor, coworker, or friend can look at your life, see you pointing to Jesus, and ultimately make the choice to follow Jesus as well in pursuit of him. What a beautiful picture it is that we have to look to Christ and allow his character to resound through our own. I hope that this is just a thought that you would um, reflect on this week and even evaluate as you assess your relationships, your behavior, and the example that you are setting toward others. Hey, I would say this, give yourself some grace. Nobody's perfect. Obviously, we're always going to make some mistakes, but we can even set an example in the way that we fail in showing people the humility and the attitude that we can have, even how we respond when things don't go as we want them to. I hope you're encouraged this week. I hope that you'll share with me some stories of how this looks like, or what this looks like rather, in your life this week. As I say each week and all the time, check out our website for more information about who we are as a church. Go back and listen to or watch on demand the sermon from this past week so that we can continue to grow as we study God's Word together. I love you. I appreciate you. Have a fantastic week. Mm -hmm.